Opposition. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. What are we doing? What are we doing when we're at the end of session the last couple of days and we're reconsidering bills that were killed? This bill was killed last night. There's more important things that we should be doing. This bill died last night. Let me remind you, this is a local issue that he has in his district, and I think that his city council or his county commissioners can deal with this issue. Let me remind you what this bill's doing. It pertains to the storage of tires. It, it regulates the transportation of used tires. It has sign regulations, but the scariest part is that the fee for a bad actor, he's gonna tell you a bad actor, and that's true, goes from $50 a day to $1,000 a day. Does anyone have concerns that you have a small business on the outskirts of your town in the rural areas that might be putting tires out back as they change the tires Ms. and Speaker, they're in, inappropriately stored? Purpose. Representative Raymond, for purpose. Would the gentleman yield or do you want to finish your thought before you yield for Let a Let me finish one, just one second okay, and then I sure. will. My fear is this is going to put some good businesses out of business at $1,000 a day. That's a lot of money for some of these small businesses. It's probably not going to be super harmful to the larger businesses, but they're small businesses that all they do with their entire life is tires. And so if they inappropriately have them transported or stored or they don't put the sign up appropriately, we're going to charge them $1,000 a day. The worst part is this was killed last night and we shouldn't be bringing stuff back up when we've already covered it. I'll yield for questions, sir. Mr. Speaker, would the gentleman yield? The gentleman yields. I'll Thank yield. Thank you. Representative, you, you began your comments with what are we doing here and why are we reconsidering this bill. Uh, with all due respect, these are the rules. You voted for them, we all voted for them. And some, well, you may have voted no, but the majority of the members in this house voted yes. And so, Again, with all due respect, every member, including you and Mr. Sticklin, have a right to get up and make a motion to reconsider. You have that right. Now, if you want to argue, if you want to argue the merits of it, that's fine. All I'm saying, sir, is when you get up here and say, we shouldn't be doing this, the rules allow this, and the membership has a right to consider whether or not they want to look at this bill again. So, argue the merits if you want, but please, sir, whether or not you agree, the majority of the members in this House, the overwhelming majority, voted for these rules, and we are following the rules. Wait, well, hold on. the rules are important, and I believe in following the rules, but just for the record, the rules are not always followed in this House, but I agree with well, you. Well, this rule, this, you, may, you may have that opinion, but the fact is, this is in order, and this is following the rules. Is that not the case? It is, sir, and that's why I'm up here okay, speaking against you. the motion. Representative Sir, speaker. Yeah, a point of order. John, this time expired. Point of order is well taken. And Thank you. Vote no. Members, the question occurs on the motion to reconsider. So, record vote the clerk ring the bell. Show Mr. Wally voting aye. Mr. Huberty voting aye. Representative Blanco voting aye. Have all voted. 302 ayes and 40 nays. The motion prevails.